Why do I have to take care of that damn nerd? If it was something that would get better quick, I wouldn't have asked you in the first place. I understand that you have her work, but for him, there aren't many people around him that he's known from a young age, and leaving him at home might be dangerous. If a childhood friend like you were there, I think he would save her. But for me, I don't even want to think about him from middle school. Remembering it makes me want to vomit and kill him at the same time. I wouldn't do that even if I was dead. The others are probably declining, right? Hey, Bakugo. Uh, is it you, half-boy? When your name was mentioned to Midoriya, he put on a relieved face. I want to stay by his side, but I don't know much about Midoriya from the past. If I scare him, I don't give a shit. I'll probably so he'll go back anyway. Why are you making this sound so serious? Are you stupid? Just meet him in his middle school self and get disappointed. Just think of here as your home. Do whatever you would like. But don't open the door if someone ever comes around. I don't want you to feel like you're being locked up, so I'll lend you the key just in case. But you can go around the entrance area or anywhere in the building. But when you go outside, you must always go with me. Sorry for not giving you much freedom. No, no, it's fine. I've been told to stay in a room anyway, and being taken care of by a pro hero is amazing in itself. Is that so? I'm glad. But I apologize. It seems that me now did something too. Cause this accident in the first place. Being taken care of like this, even though we were only classmates at high school. We're dating, by the way. The day before. At this house? Yeah, if he were to stay at the hospital, you never know when the paparazzi will start flooding in. His memory has gone back, so I felt staying in a home would be better for him. And if information of him were to leak out to villains and he was at his actual home, his mother would be in danger too. The result was that his symptoms would go back in around a week, and I received permission from his mother and agency. I'll go collect him tomorrow. Maitaria in middle school, so he has gone back to when he hadn't discovered his quirk yet. His quirk has gone back to what it was back in middle school too. Even if his quirk stayed the same, he wouldn't be able to control it the way he can now. What about you? How is work going? My paid leaves are piling up and I've been advised to use them, so I'll use them now. There's no other reason for me to take anyway. Taking a break every now and then is vital. Get some rest. Okay, I understand. Well then, to make up for that, I'll come help whenever you need it. Call me. God's sake, you two are pro heroes now. You need to take care of your own health at least a little. Are you pissed? Of course. I would rather have you tell me beforehand about these things. Sorry. Thanks a lot, Lita. Todoroki and me, we are dating. No one knows about it, but what a nostalgic feeling. I got in contact with your mother and she sent some of your old clothes here. They'll get here by tomorrow. Please use my clothes for now. I thought about bringing some stuff from your current house, but they wouldn't fit anyway. Even if we were dating, it doesn't mean I can barge into your home. But we are, we really dating. But we are both men, so... But there were openly homosexual people in my age, so it might already be common sense here in the future. But in the first place, the fact that I got into high means something went on with my quirk. Did you want to stay with Bakugu? Looks like your habit of thinking out loud has been a thing since you were younger. I'm sorry, that's not what I... When you were in the hospital bed and Bakugu's name was mentioned, you put on a relieved face. I can understand suddenly living with someone you don't know can be worrying for you. That's not it. Of course, I don't recognize most of the people around me. I did feel relieved when I finally heard a name I recognize. But I'm not that close with Bakugo, so basically hates me. And he probably would rather die than take care of me. You're saying the same thing as Bakugo. He declined while saying that. Is that so? Looks like our relationship hasn't changed. I don't think it's that bad. Hmm? What? Nothing. I apologize for bringing that up. You can go shower first. I'll prepare something to wear for you. Uh, yes. Thank you.
Why did I reject so much? He even went out of his way to take care of me. Todoroki! He's a pro hero, right? I wonder what kind of quirk he has. This apartment looks expensive, maybe he's popular. I bet he is. He's good looking too. But me as well, it seems I have a quirk now and I'm working as a pro hero. I even went to high school. And for me to be able to go out with such a handsome guy. What the hell happened to high school? On another thought, can I sleep on the couch? Why so? We would always sleep together when you came around? Well, technically that is me, but not me at the same time. Mm hmm. This is too stimulating for me, but no, that doesn't mean I don't like you. But your face is so close. I'm tired, so I'll sleep soon though. Todoroki, aren't you enjoying this too much? Yeah. I thought it would be better for me to put a something distance between us. But it's not every day you can see something so precious, so I decided to enjoy it. Did you want to know about me from the past? It looks like it would get long if we touched talked about that. The only one that knows you from middle school is Bakugu, so honestly, I was a little jealous. Since he knows a you, I could only get to seen in pictures. I thought it would be okay if I create enough memories with you to make up for it, but this in itself is a really happy experience for me. I'm getting a little excited. He's getting excited! I don't know how I am now, but don't you feel disappointed? Really? You're cute to me. Your reactions are always big. It reminds me of when you were a first year. Oh, yeah, but in the sports festival, you had the courage to fight me. So hard you crushed your fingers. But meeting you as me from the past. Whatever, I'm glad I could meet you. If you really, whatever, dislike it, you can away. If you really dislike it, you can push me away. You don't hold back, so I feel like I'm acting spoiled. That's because you keep surprise attacking me. Really? Whatever after your things arrive tomorrow, let's go buy things we still need. Good night. I can't sleep. Did you want to stay with Bakugu? For me, he's someone I've only known for a few days. Then why? Why did she send my uniform? I guess she just sent anything could fit into. There's clothes he wore in Yua too. That's so random. I talked to her, but she seemed happy to be able to help because you don't really rely on her. We're going out now, so you might as well wear that now. It feels fresh since I've only seen this in pictures. Not for me, I wear this every day. I thought so when we were in bed, but you're really thin. You really didn't train in middle school. Todoroki, stop it. Your hand doesn't really sound like you want me to stop. I don't even know myself. I don't really hate it that much. I'm sorry it's weird to think that after only knowing someone for a few days, right? Uh, I heard from the doctor, but your memory, body, and quirk can go back to normal in one go, but there are examples of them going back little by little. Maybe you fit in with the latter. Oh, that's so. The body too not just the memories. How does it feel? So the reason I kept rejecting was because I didn't want him to mistake things. If we're dating, do you wanna know what we do? Sure. You're shaking. I'll stop if you don't like it. Well, I just found out you don't hate it. How is it? Does it feel good? Let's get you even more lewd. I went too far. Don't sulk. I told you to stop halfway. I'll cook you some of my favorite soba. Not fair. Did you from the past not like soba? That's not it. I'll eat it, so don't make that face. 